Welcome back. We are headed in. We're headed to go do some wade fishing. You know it. Um, let's see here. We're scheduled to get up early. That didn't happen. Had a bad thunderstorm roll through on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. But uh, the rain looked like it's moving out. And I'm going to try to make a uh, run here to do a little bit of wade fishing. We've got a good falling tide. Um, should be a pretty good scenario. The only thing I haven't I haven't seen the water yet, so I'm a little concerned about the water clarity. But uh, we're going to give it a run. Uh, the fish have been actually turning on pretty good. Uh, been a lot of drum in the area. Been a lot of uh, reds, a lot of black drum, and I love some some black drum. Okay, and I say not the big black drum, the puppy drum. My favorite fish to eat is puppy drum, just behind speckled drum. But um, I love some puppy drum; it's delicious. So if uh, it'd be nice to get on some of that to, this morning. I'm gonna, my weight location, one of my favorite spots. Uh, the tide don't look like it's moving as good. I'll be honest, as it should be. Um, it may have to do with the the, the rain that just pushed through. Yeah, look at that structure. It's gonna be twofold. Just because it looks like it's a lot out the water that you can visually see doesn't mean it's gonna be productive underwater and vice versa. Goodness, that was something chasing it. Something is absolutely chasing that shrimp. Old, old broken up here probably from the 70s or 80s that got knocked down you can barely see the pilings oh, the shrimp's popping again the shrimp's popping again He's jumping out the water something's chasing them something is absolutely chasing them oh well, if you caught that but I got a sneaky suspicion it might be ladyfish or needlefish. I'm, I have caught so many speckled trout off structure like this and this structure and many other. It doesn't need to be, doesn't need to appeal to the eyes. It really doesn't. You gotta kinda take your thoughts you truly got to take your thoughts underwater, right, guys. Didn't take long. Second cast. We are hooked up, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Feels like a good fish. He's already breaking the top of the water quite a bit. It didn't take long. This is what I like to see. Not sure what it is yet. Not sure what it is yet. Got, ooh. Yes, sir. Breaking the top of that water. Folks, that looks like a big, big speckle trout. But I can't quite tell yet. I can't quite tell yet. But it does look like a big speckle trout. I'm gonna loosen this drag up just in case it is what I think it is. Yeah, that's a big stud speckle trout, guys. Big, big stud speckle trout. Just maintaining and doing the things that I've been preaching. Fish that structure, guys. Fish that structure. Like I tell you, look at that beauty. Look at that tank of a speckle trout, guys. Oh, my goodness, guys. Second cast out, guys. Fishing the structure. Fishing in between some structure. Falling tide. It can be that easy. That's why I'm always, I'm preaching. I decided to go with the popping cork out the gate. That's what I did, popping cork out the gate, second or third cast, um, boom, just like that. Uh, had a little bit, um, I started out with some live shrimp. I, I almost wanted to start with the gulp because I had such success, but the water was so calm, a good moving tide, it just, it just really honed itself for, um, for speckled trout. So I said, hey, let, me, let me start with some, a little bit of live shrimp, and it paid off, guys. Look at the stud, big 
stud speckled trout that I was able to grab. Mm. She's a beauty. All right, let's get her off, get a measurement on her, and if she's plus 20, we're going to let her go. This specific speckled trout was an absolute tank. Um, I, when I did my quick measurement out there, she was, I thought, around 22 and a half. Once I, uh, once I took my time and, and actually remeasured her, um, let the excitement go down. She was just shy of 22, but either way, she was big and she was thick. She was an absolute tank and she was a hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. Yes, sir. She's long the way. See a lot of guys just getting their boats out. They're trying to haul butt to the islands. They got weatherman, I call it. They got weatherman. Boy, you talk about a, a career where you get paid to be wrong. Good night. I mean, if I was fifty, if I was wrong fifty percent of the time in my job, I wouldn't have a job. Let's be honest. Now I know it's hard to predict the weather, but goodness gracious, man, with all the technology we got and everything we have in today's society, today's world. Goodness, we think the accuracy would get a little. Me, my kids, and my family mean the absolute world to me. I think these ladyfish are still, still here. I think that's what we got here. Oh, because it sure seems like that's a lot of picking. It was, oh, okay. Let's see what we got on here. Broker. A lot of these too, which is it's just not a bad thing, but man, it can be a pain in the butt to deal with at times when they get thick in the area because they're bait robbers. Oh, we're hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, that's a look look like a flounder. He ain't fighting too much. Not a real big flounder. Yes, sir. Beautiful little flounder here. Beautiful little flounder. Yeah, guys, sorry about the uh, camera work there. The camera was giving me an issue at the time, but I at least wanted to put the voice in. She ended up being about a 13-inch flounder, nice little flounder, but we, we sent her on her way uh, to be caught another time. But yeah, finding your motivation in life, finding your motivation is key. Especially at a young age, what motivates you? Is it, you know, be successful in your career, school, own a, be able to, sometimes motivation can be materialistic. You might want a nice boat like that. That goes 90 miles an hour. <laughs> but it's going to change with your age. My motivation at 20 is completely different than my motivation now. And that's completely okay. You develop in life. as you should. But finding your motivation for you to wake up every day, put your pants on, put that uniform on. That uniform may be a nurse's outfit. It may be a military uniform. It may be a welding outfit, whatever that is. You gotta find that motivation. Cause as we all know, life can be tough at times. Life can be hard, it can be stressful. It's never easy, man. It's never easy. There's old DMR. Headed out to do their job. Make sure you got your fishing licenses, folks. I'll tell you what, me and this float going, we're gonna have it out here in a second. Guys, hook back up. Hook back up. I think it's a nice red. I think it's a nice red fish. Ooh, you don't hear that drag? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, 
yeah. She's pulling like a red. She's pulling like a red. If this is a trout, <laughs> we gonna we have a record here, but yeah, it looks like a nice red fish. And it's straight for me right now. Let's see if we can get a visual on her. Big red fish. Big, big, beautiful red fish. Look at that thing. Big, big, beautiful red fish. Let her fight herself out a little bit. Wow. She's a beauty. Yes, sir. Let me take care of her real quick. Get her off the hook. Big, beautiful redfish, guys. Oh, I bet she's at around that 26, 27 range. And we're going to, I think we're going to keep her. So wife's wanting to to do some fish and grill some redfish on a half shell and normally probably don't keep them when she's uh get close to this big but we want to do some some uh some grilling on a half shell a little some eat some fish this weekend look how blue her tail is look how blue her tail is for how big she is that's absolutely gorgeous for how big she is stunning stunning beautiful redfish just an absolute beautiful golden golden redfish beautiful hey guys just wanted to do a quick recap of the wade fishing trip this morning oh man a lot of fun uh, man, they were there for a good bit when i first got there i'd say the first hour and a half two hours uh, there was uh they were biting good it was the tide had, had just started to flip went into a fallen fallen tide situation started falling hard real quick and uh yeah man that, that bite turned on and it, it usually does if you can catch that falling tide at, at the right time um caught a good bit of speckled trout uh caught one hammer man uh like 22 22 and a half inches beautiful beautiful speckled trout um caught some i caught some good footage of of uh reeling him in caught a real nice nice redfish ended up keeping him we're gonna do some redfish on a half shell and, and do some some grilled fish um uh, Caught a couple more other trout. Um, really went in there, keying, looking for some drum, and maybe, uh, maybe, maybe a flounder. But you know, them, them trout and them trout and those reds were there. So you know, that's just how it is. Sometimes I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I take that every single time, over and over again. I just thought the situation, uh, how it set up, falling tide, the water was gonna get low kind of quick. Um, a lot of bait, man. Uh, I'm not sure where you're fishing right now. As far as the Gulf Coast goes, but man, there has been a tremendous, tremendous amount of uh, mullet and just bait in general where I've been fishing in the, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So love it, love it. Can't uh, usually where there's bait, there's fish. That's the key right there. So and until next time, you guys take it easy.